In this video we're going to graph a linear equation or a straight line with using x and y intercepts. Okay, And we'll do these three examples. So let's start with example 1. 2x plus 6y equals 12. And the method is similar to what we did before, only we don't have to begin by solving for y. So we can make a table like this, x, y. And what we're going to try and do is find y when x is 0. Now when x is 0, just for fun, just have a look at your graph. When x is 0, that would be any point here, wouldn't it? Right? Or any point down here. So that would be the y-intercept, wouldn't it? Right? And then after that, we're going to make y be 0 and solve for x. Now just for fun, go to your graph, and when y is 0, that would be any point along here, wouldn't it? So this is y is 2 and 4 and 6. This is where y is 0. So this would actually be the x-intercept, right? So in any case, when x is 0, you actually have the y-intercept. When y is 0, you have the x-intercept. But as we do a few examples, you'll, you'll get used to that. Anyway, so we're going to get the y-intercept first, then the x-intercept. Then we'll just plot the two points, and we'll draw a line through it. But you'll see how it goes. So when x is 0, what's y, right? Now, we've done that before by just making a table. How would you do that? Well, like I said, you've done it before, and it's simply plugging in 0 for x, right? So we simply go 2 times 0 plus 6y equals 12, and we solve that equation, right? So plug 0 in for x, right? And 2 times 0 is just 0, right? So we end up with 6y equals 12, and then just solve for y, right? So um, we just solve this equation for y, you know, divide by 6, and uh, y equals 2, right? And so what we found is when x is 0, y is 2. Now we didn't solve for y initially in this equation, notice that. So we got x is 0, y is 2. And that is a point on the line x is 0, y is 2. So we already have one point, 0, 2. Okay? And that, of course, is on the y-axis. So this is the y-intercept, right? Okay? Now, to get the x-intercept, we're going to make y equal to 0, right? So what we're going to do is write out the equation again, 2x plus 6y equals 12, and now we'll just let y be 0, and then write out the equation again, and plug 0 in for y. And now if you solve that equation, you'll get x. So go ahead and solve that equation, and what do you get for x? So you should have 2x equals 12, and then divide by 2, right? <laughs> and x equals 6. Right? So when y is 0, x becomes 6. Now we have a table, we just have two points, and that's all you need to solve to uh, draw a straight line anyway. Of course, if you had made a mistake on either of these, you know, you've definitely got the wrong answer. And it was kind of cool with the other method, we would usually get, say, three points. And, uh, and that would help us check it. But anyway, make sure you don't make a mistake. And um, you've got this point six zero. And let me put that in here. So where x is 6 and y is 0, right? x is 6, y is 0, right? That would be this point here. Now that point is on the x-axis. So that point 6, 0 would be called the x-intercept, right? So let's label it as x-intercept because it is where the line is going to intercept the x-axis or touch the x-axis. And then we just join the lines together, or join the dots together, and we have our answer, right? So there's a straight line, and that is the equation for the uh, your 2x plus 6y equals 12, right? Now, just, now I'm just going to show you that this is the same 
if we did, did the previous method, we'd get the same result. So if we first solved for y and then made a table, like subtract 2x from both sides, right? What do you get? 6y equals negative 2x plus 12, right? And then what? Divide by 6. And divide everything by 6, right? Remember that method? So we get y equals, and 2 over 6 is the same thing as 1 over 3, and of course that's a negative 1 over 3, x plus, and 12 over 6 is 2, right? And if we made a little table and plugged in some numbers for x, like when x is 0, you have a negative a third times 0, you know, plus 2, which is 0, plus 2, which is 2. So we get 0, 2, that's that point there anyway, right? Same point there. Um, and of course you might think, well, I'll plug in x is 3 because I'm working with a fraction. Okay, so I'll plug 3 in. And uh, that becomes, of course, negative 3 over 3 uh, plus 2. Or negative 1 plus 2, which is 1, right? So we end up with 3, 1. Okay. And 3, 1 is this point. And you can see that that's on the line, right? And of course, if we could get another point if we wanted, and um, uh, that would work as well. So if, just for example, like if you plugged in 6, you'd have negative a third times 6 plus 2, which is negative 6 over 3 plus 2, which is negative 2 plus 2, which is 0, right? So we get the point 6, 0, which is what we found earlier with the, what we just found with the x and y intercept method. So, just so you know, you can use either method, they'll both work, right? But now you have two methods. But in any case, uh, the only thing is this table method works best with all types of graphs. With parabolas that we'll see at some point, or if you were doing that, you know, these ones have an x squared in them. Or if you have a curve that has an x cubed, it's going to look something like that. You know, and and your table method will work best for that, or I know all sorts of other types of graphs as well. So the x y intercept method only really works for straight lines, but in any case, it's it's uh, it's useful to know, I, I I suppose. So for example two, you can, by all means uh, we'll we'll go over that one. Uh, you may not remember what we did at the start, but what we do is. Um, we make a little table, okay, and we start by plugging in zero for x and solving for, and finding what y is, and then we plug zero in for y and find what x is, okay, and then we plot the two points and we draw a line through it and we have our line. So, if you plug zero in for x, what do you get? Negative zero plus four y equals eight, right? And then if you solve that, you'll get 4y equals 8, and divide by 4, y equals 2. So when x is 0, we get y is 2. So we have one point, 0, 2, same as last time. Okay, 0, 2 is on the line, and that of course is the y-intercept. Y intercept, and um, then we'll plug zero in for y. So you can write the equation out again: uh, x or negative x plus four y equals eight. Then plug zero in for y. <coughs> Excuse me. And what do you get? Negative x plus zero, right? Or negative x equals. 8. Now, how do you solve that? Negative x equals 8. Negative x is the same thing as negative what times x? Negative negative what times x? Negative 1 times x, right? So if you divide by negative 1 on both sides, you'll get positive x equals positive over negative is a negative, and 8 over 1 is 8. So we have x is negative 8, y is 0. And so the other point on, so we have a table with just two points, 0, 8, and 8, 0, right? So x is, or sorry, negative 8, 0. So x is negative 8, y is 0, is here. 
and of course that's on the x-axis so what type of point is that if it's on the x-axis it's an x intercept right and we can join the two points together and we'll be able to graph our line okay and that's the line negative x plus 4y equals 8 so that's the x y intercept method of graphing a linear equation a linear equation is an equation for a straight line that's all a linear equation is and again we didn't solve for y and make it and make the table that way we just went straight to the table plug zero in for x and solve for y plug zero in for y and then solve for x created these two points plot them on the graph and drew a line through it okay so what I want you to do now is example three all by yourself so please press pause and do example three all by yourself and see how you get on so example three is 4x minus 12 equals negative 2y so press pause and do example three by yourself okay I hope you've tried it I'm gonna do it now uh, uh, quickly so with this one the first thing we do is uh, make a little table and plug 0 in for x and then solve for y so we get 4 times 0 minus 12 equals negative 2y plug 0 in for x okay and what does that become that's 0 minus 12 and then 0 minus 12 is negative 12 equals negative 2y now that's negative 2 times y so we need to divide by negative 2 on both sides and negative over negative positive 2 over 2 is 1 so we have 1y here or y and on this side negative over negative makes positive and 12 over 2 is 6 so we have positive 6 so 0 6 is one point and then we plug 0 in for y and solve the equation so we get 4x minus 12 equals negative 2 times y and plug 0 in for y and that becomes 4x minus 12 equals negative 2 times 0 0 right and then add 12 to both sides and get 4x equals 12 then divide by 4 on both sides and get x equals 3 so when y is 0, x is 3. And so we have two points, 0, 6, and 3, 0. 0, 6, and 3, 0. Which is the x-intercept and which is the y-intercept? Right? Which is which? So there's our line, and the line goes through the y-axis at 0, 6, so that is the y-intercept because that's where the line goes through the y-axis. The, the line goes through the x-axis at 3, 0, so that makes it the x-intercept because that's where the line goes through the x-axis. Okay, And the equation of the line, of course, is 4x minus 12 equals negative 2y.